Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Ray from Philly here. It's Tuesday night, October 29th. And I just want to show a pickup that I made recently. Uh, my local card shop does this weekly podcast called This Fan's View. And once a month they do out on location and they'll have a um, former athlete at the show. So last week they had a Philadelphia legend last Wednesday at the, in Collegeville, PA at a, a restaurant. And it was none other than former Philadelphia A's pitcher, Bobby Shantz. So I picked up, I decided I'm going to do this project on Bobby Shantz since Bobby Shantz is around here four or five times a year. Uh, his rookie card is a 1950 Bowman. It goes all the way up to, I think, 64 tops. So I decided I'm going to get all of his cards raw and I'm going to have him sign those cards, his whole run. It's a total of 17 cards, 12 tops, five Bowmans. And then once I finish that, I'm going to get them slabbed, just authenticate it. And I thought that would be a neat project. He doesn't charge a lot of money. Most, some, most of the times he's free. You can send it through the mail and you have it back in a few days. Uh, but if he does do a show, it's $10 per item. So at my LCS, I picked up three cards at the store. These are the three cards, and I'm going to show them to you right now. And I had Bobby sign them, so look, really excited to show you. The first one was a 1961 Topps. And there's Chance's autograph right there. And after that, I picked up the 56 Topps. looks really good it was really funny it was Bobby when he signed it he was going like this and blowing on it to make sure that it dried and he was looking at the cards and he said hey these are look really these look really sharp they look like they would grade like a six or a seven so 94 years old and he's sharp as attack and he's in tune with with the hobby last I picked up the 1952 tops of Bobby Shantz and I had him a uh, inscribe it 1952 AL MVP. Bobby is the oldest living most valuable player out there. There isn't another player out there that won an MVP before 52 that's still alive. So in my opinion if you have a chance to meet or talk or hang out with a player that played he played with played for Casey Stengel, he played with Mickey Mantle, you should embrace that. Not only Casey Stengel but he played for Connie Mack. So I was in the audience and they, I asked a couple questions and I asked him what it was like playing for Connie Mack and he said Connie was a real quiet man. He just basically pointed to the players and positioned them. But by then when Bobby's joined in uh, 1949, Connie uh, really kind of wasn't managing anymore. It was more, more so Jimmy Dykes that was managing the team. Connie was probably in his late 80s by then and he was more so like a figurehead more so than a manager. But still, he played for Connie Mack, he played for Casey Stengel, told some incredible stories of playing. They uh, asked the question, who was the toughest batter he ever faced? And it was Mickey Mantle. And then he ended up joining Mickey Mantle later on. So he pitched in the 1960 World Series. He was on the mound in Game 7 when Mazeroski hit the game-winning homer. But that pitcher was Ralph Terry. But Chance did pitch four shutout innings in that game. So, once again, there's the 61 tops of Chance, and I'm going to send that off to get slabbed, 56 tops, and the best one, the 52 tops again, and it's inscribed 52 AL MVP. So he's coming to the Philly show on December 6th, on a Friday night. I'm going to try and pick up two or three more of Chance's cards before then, and have him sign it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a chance to, to meet a player that's been around that long uh, and you have a chance to hang out and talk with him, you should embrace the moment because, I mean, this is a player that played for the Philadelphia A's, not just not the Oakland A's, the Philadelphia A's. And he still drives. He still goes to the shows. He runs around like he's 20-year-old, 94 years old, and he's in fantastic shape. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a programming reminder, tomorrow night is episode number one with myself and John 3000 Hitman for Sports Car Talk. It was called Sports Car Forum, but we changed it to Sports Car Talk. And tomorrow night's episode number one. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for all your likes and comments. Stay tuned for the show tomorrow night.
Keep on loving the hobby and make sure you have fun with it. Once again, Bobby Shantz. See you guys real soon. Take care.